talk a bit more about Mansfield in a moment two time though, but you look at targets and you try and set yourself targets and your players' targets and incentives. There's an incentive if you can get three points and get over the, over the white line around about quarter to ten Tuesday night, is you could be in the top half of the table. I know you don't look at them, but it's, it's, it will be good for the, for the players, the supporters, you know, they've got, they've got that earmark. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's more important that um, the momentum, the, the small bit of momentum that we're carrying at the minute, um, in terms of an unbeaten run, the big bit of momentum in terms of defensive um, application and performances is carried on on both, both fronts, and if we do that then... We've got as good a chance as anyone. Talk more Mansfield then. An interesting set of figures they've got uh, uh, at the moment. 14 games played, one defeat, but it includes nine draws yep. already. What to, I think you just tell you what they're, what they're made of. Well, they're, I think they're a bit similar to ourselves in the sense that I think they've scored 18 and conceded 10. I think they've got, them and got the best defensive record in the league, so you can see what you know, the managers tried to do there. Um, very similar in that sense, because they took a couple more draws probably away from home than we did earlier on in the season. Um, they've got some good players, and we feel they've got some weaknesses, and we've got to make sure that um, their good players don't have a good night, and we exploit their weaknesses. And on your game management, I thought once you've got yourselves in front, and, you know, you look really, really at it, and I think, are, are you yeah. seeing that? come to the fore a bit more now in the last few weeks as well because that's something that you picked up on, aren't you? How to manage games and see them out. Yeah, I think I think we did that well last year, towards the end of last year. And I think we've done that well at times this year. You know, I think you know, you're over. It's one all. In the last this is all in the second half. We're pushing but we're making sure that we're not conceding. Um, and, and the two centre halves are, are locked in and what have you. To, to keep the attackers going, that's good game understanding, game management. Without, you know, everyone sees it. Oh, it's the swing strike in the corner, holding the ball up. That's game management. No, there's there's, there's far more facets to it than that. Um, and like I say, I think Saturday was exactly a prime example. We got one up. Um, I can't remember. You know, but there was no drama after that. It was just it was just a, a consummate professional performance. Yes, there's a few area bits before that. Of, of all our own making, where Ben's saved the day and he deserves all the credit that came his way. Um, but once we ironed out them a few mistakes at half time and, and got the players to understand how to be a bit more, a lot more effective, I think in the second half we had one chance where Ben's tipped it around the post, but again from our own mistake. Um, and I think that was. I'd say from 75 minutes onwards, 65 minutes onwards, I think it was comfortable, I do. Um, but then goals change games and that's what happened.